Okay guys, we've been ramming the roads. I did see a water tower today. And what do you want to see a water tower for? Because I'm one of those people that love water towers. Because they're what? They're like a pump, they're like an extra station. Well, that's where you get your pressure for your water. Because the water tower is so high, the water runs, you don't have to pump pressure to the faucets and that. It's all gravity pressure. It's all gravity. Well, like each town usually has a water tower, right? Right. And then in like maybe New York City, they have what? Water towers on top of each building? Yeah, they're like tankers. They, they're like tankers? They keep it full and the pressure from the water running down gives all the building water pressure. So uh, they have like pumps all over town, all over the town and then the water tower, water comes from the water tower, and then it has like, if you look at a water tower, they have like those bands around them. Yeah. That's why you notice there's more bands at the bottom than there is at the top, because every foot it goes down, you've got more pressure, more uh, it pushes out on the tank, so, outside to the tank. So if they didn't have all those bands with the water tower, just like bursts. Same as a, if you see the wooden, the old. Westerns where the wood they had wooden water towers there they had more bands towards the bottom they were about a foot apart and up at the top they were like two or three foot apart so if you look at a water tower you'll see that the the further it goes down the more like bands like uh, stripes will be metal, around the that the metal ones don't have the bands oh they don't yeah. what about the ones that look like a giant onion they don't have bands because they're made of metal oh, okay the ones that are made of wood so the so like water towers you mainly see the wooden ones in uh, cities so like water towers are mainly for emergency water no it helps you have pressure until the water's all gone up the power goes out you still got water because of the water in the water tower it, but you don't have any power to the pumps to pump water back into it so once the water's gone out of the tower don't have any water pressure because you don't have any water. Okay, so once the uh, water out of the water tower is gone, that's it. That's it. That. When the power goes out. So if the power goes out, you should fill your bathtubs and stuff. You should fill jugs for drinking water, um, five gallon buckets and things for ba bathing water, whatever you, whatever you can fill. Now we're going by a lake. We get our water, like sometimes the we lake. We get our water from a water tower. But do you ever get it from a lake? It's pumped from the lake to the to the um, treatment center to the water tower. Now, once I talked with my dentist about water and um, bottled water and you know being better for my teeth and different things, so I did a little bit of homework because I had like really heavy acidic teeth, so to speak, and so. I did a study on the different waters and I found that the tap water out of your tap is probably the safest water and best for you that you drink. <laughs> so I said, guess what? No more bottled water. And I think the worst water I think was Walmart. I think they had more acidity. Well, there's a thing on um, the internet showing you different, different types of water, whether it's by uh, Nestle's or by uh, Oh, there's so many brands. All those different. I think the the one that was the best for you, being an alkaline water, was uh, a Tahiti water. I think it is. I can't remember what. It's a bottled water. But at the end of the day, it's an expensive one. But at the end of the day, all the testing and everything like that, your tap water is the best. Well, it's got it's been treated with. Uh, yeah. So you go out and buy all this fancy water and. <laughs> it's not that fancy. Your own water has probably been tested and treated and more healthy for you than the other water. It's just because it's in a bottle doesn't mean it's better. But I don't think we're going to see another water tower. I was looking for a water tower. So I guess with that, let me know in the comments below if you know anything exciting about water towers. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. This is Ruthie and Clay with the Popal Backyard Farm. And uh, remember, big or small. You too can be a backyard farm. God bless.